All right, welcome to this tutorial. Um, I wanted to make a tutorial today to show you guys um, some composition techniques um, and also how to build a complete track from one sample or loop that you found to use that as a base idea, you know, to build the rest of the, of the whole entire track from. Because sometimes we're going through our, our libraries and you hear a nice loop and you're like, wow, this is a great loop, but how can I take that loop further, you know, into into a full track. And I'm going to show you um, how to do that hopefully in this tutorial. So sometimes when I'm just, you know, sometimes I'll just be working on, on a, a project and I'm just going to go through some loops over here in Logic or wherever you are in your programs. If you're in Ableton or FL Studio, you're going through your collection of loops. Logic happens to come with a lot of awesome loops. Anyway, so I was going through them one day and I found this really awesome loop. Called an Arabian Nights Jambri or Gambri, I'm not sure. Um, the key it says over here is in D sharp, but that is kind of false. It's actually really in C sharp um, because everything changes sometimes when you bring it into the project um, because it says play in song key, and usually the key is usually in C because it's just signature C. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Sometimes the loops changes, but basically I had this loop and I really like it. Right? So I'm writing this song, um, this was a song I was just writing for, I composed music like for stock music for like TV and film, so I was writing a song to sell, and um, I wanted like a mysterious like in the desert Middle Eastern type feel. So I came up with this rhythm again, this uh, loop over here, and it's called Arabian Nights, which is, you know, Middle Eastern, and it has like that mysterious feel, so I kind of like it, right? Fine, so we have our loop. Now we want to figure out what key this thingy is in, right? So if you play along with the loop, let's say I just pull up this guitar over here. All right, so let's play along with the loop. Let's just click that for a second. Kind of works in C, but. Really works well over here with F. These notes that are playing in here right now, F. Okay, that's an F minor chord, and you experiment by when you find your loop, if you know exactly what key it is and it doesn't switch it up on you like it did over here on me, then you just play along with it, and if you, and if you don't know what key it's in, so pull up a piano or a guitar or whatever you have in your DAW, and play along with it until you find the note. So I was playing along with it, and I found this. All right, so F minor works really well. All right, so I had this thingy, and I want to build up this track. Fine, so let's get rid of the loop browser, and now let's start building up this track. So we have this loop. All right, so all, all we have going on here is just we're building up an intro. You don't want to bring everything in at once. And um, we have this it's just a simple kick from Logic also, nothing crazy. Um, and we had just have this guitar playing an F minor chord with some tremolo on it so that it gives like that cowboy country western feel and all together we have this hi-hat here at the bottom and this snare coming up automation wise to give us a little bit of tension building up a little bit but so that's the intro right so we built that up you don't want to bring too many instruments in, instruments in at once you want to build the, the the, like the track progressively with certain dynamics that you're going to choose and that's all part of making good music is to know where to leave things out and where to leave things in. So that's the intro, we don't want to bring in too much at once. Now we have this transition over here and we're playing in F minor, right? And we want to make a, we want to make a chord change, right? So what works? So you have to figure out where you want to go from F minor, right? You know, um, doesn't sound good, right? So if you know a little bit of theory, you can figure out that different things like an F minor, right? So let's take a progression, I'm sorry. Let's take a progression like C major, right? C major, everyone recognizes this chord progression. C major to A minor. Right? That's a very, very famous chord progression, right? That, so it's the same type of thing over here. We have this F minor chord. And that would lead us to D flat major. 
this is all theory, but I'm not really going to theory right now, but C to A minor, right? Same amount of steps. One, two, right? C, and then you got Kind of works. I don't know. <laughs> the honest truth is that I really forgot a lot of my theory. It's just like inside my brain, and it's just there, and it works. So I can't really teach you theory, but I can teach you how to make music, hopefully. So we have over here now is so basically I wanted to find a loop another loop that would play in a different chord progression but there was no other loops and also you don't want to build up your whole entire song with loops because that just gets boring and not original so I had this I chopped up this I took the sample I converted it into a new sampler track you can do that at any DAW and I picked no out of it and I went from F to C sharp right I just I loaded it up inside the sampler over here like this you know, see here it's chopped up and I picked a note out of it and I took it to C sharp um, so now if you listen it's the same thing it works very very smoothly and also you want I wanted to have a variation in the in the track obviously before we bring back the main melody back in but we also wanted to add in some more instruments because this with just a kick would not be fun. Very just too simple, you know what I mean? It sounds like a trance riff. We're not really aiming for trance here. So I added in this really, really fast keyboard, electric keyboard. Also, if you notice closely, it's not quantized at all. Because I wanted this song also to have a live feel. And if you want to have a live feel, you know, we have humanizing options on here, but they don't always work so well. Sometimes it's best not to quantize if you can do it in time and play really, really fast along with it. So I just had this guy. And all together with also the electric guitar, now switch from F major, F minor to a D flat. And same same thing. And also over here we have a trombone playing. Same chords and the kicks. The hi hats, everything is the same, so let's go up again. All right, so then also over here, if you notice, we have these two re we have these two reverses. These come from Vengeance Sample Pack. We just wanted to add like um, it's a reverse. The reverse crashes. Um, that also adds tension in the build to give it like the listener like oh something's coming right now after this like a drop but not really a drop like in dubstep but just a new section of the track is going to begin so just a simple tip is you have two of these going off at the same time right you don't want them to be in the same frequency area so you pan them left and right all the way and the trombone was playing the same chords and that's it and also this thing this thing is still playing the same, this um, keyboard over here is actually playing the same F minor chord as before, but it's playing just a note in this, it's, it's, it's playing notes inside the F minor scale really, really fast, back and forth. Here it goes more and more each time. And this part over here is the best because that little thing right over here at the end adds like a whole lot it's just a little it's just two notes make a huge difference inside a whole entire transition right so now we want to bring back the main riff we have the same main riff and everything but you want to bring it back with a little bit more boom inside the thing. So first of all, you added a crash in to signify the hit. Okay. Um, and we added in another electric keyboard over here, also playing the same type of chord, F. It's playing uh, an arpeggio of um, F. That's what it's playing, F minor. Same, same type of thing. Instead of having the guitar do it again like that, we wanted to add in a new type of variation. Also, as you notice, it's not quantized at all whatsoever. Give it that live feel and also the guitar over here changed 
just simple riff, just also playing a variation of the F minor chord. So the whole thing revolves around F minor, and that's the whole point, is that you took this loop, which is a riff in F minor, and you're just adding stuff in with it. To work around that riff and come up with some really, really cool things. So that's what we did. Also on the bottom over here, we have some more loops that we added in from Logic to give the kick a little bit more oomph. You know, so we have this kick over here, a little boring. So we have this Irish Frost thingy, it's also a loop from Logic, pan to the right. It's kind of a cool riff, I mean it's kind of a cool loop also. And that's also just for a little transition over here at the end. Add some more tension. Oops. Alright, so then now we had this section again, but you want to add something on. You don't want to just continue the same thing. So I added in this little slight lead over here with a dobro guitar. A dobro is like a slide guitar. And this is also straight from Logic. No like big fancy libraries or anything. Just the same simple riff. Also playing variations of, of the of the F minor scale. Let's listen to it over here. This is like your main lead. Like everything else is like the is like the rhythm instruments in the band playing right now, and then you have this main lead going on right now. This dobro slide guitar, and we just put an amp designer on it from Logic, so that to give it a little bit more kick. You know, Logic is really cool by the way. So you should check it out if you can. that same progression again right with that fast keyboard going on over here again but this time we have this slide playing right like really really like a faster thing so it gives it a little bit more rhythm all right so that's I mean that's like the basically the main ideas I'm trying to get to you is that we picked one riff and we're taking that riff apart and we figure out the key is F minor and now we can build out so many different melodies from different instruments playing to make a whole different type of track come alive and that's what we're doing over here so now we had this second chorus type thing and um, um, and then we want to bring in this is like the this is like the end of the song you notice the, these songs are really short because I'm writing them for like film and for TV commercials so they're not like that long you know what I mean but it is still a complete track because you can keep on building and building and building. But here we wanted to add in a little bit more. So we added in a bass just to give it a little bit more drive. Just a simple bass from Logic also. And also to add more um, sound to it, we added in um, the same thing that the guitar was playing in the intro of the song, which is the F minor chord. Again, now we have this, um, we have a, what's it called? We have, an, uh, we have an organ playing it. So, just a blues organ going all the way. With the, and we have this, um, so now we have like a real rhythm going on over here. We have the kick with a real snare and all these guys together. It's like, it's kind of like a shuffle type feel, you know? everything hear that it's a driving type blues like feel like you're in the desert you know what I mean so that's all that's really what it's about is like also like making your drums exciting adding in like a little bit of loops like further down in the mix so that there's something going on it's not like so apparent but it's there in the mix that people can hear it and um, and I mean that it will add to the and it will add to the song so we have all these new instruments coming in right now. Same distorted piano, but we added in 
like the full band is coming now together for like the last climax of the whole entire track. Um, we had this new lead over here. This is also from, oh, this is actually from Native Instruments um, before. It's also an organ. It's actually a really cool plugin. Um, it's also just playing, also, same type of melody. Same, same, same melody. It's all based on the F minor of that original sample. And then we wanted to, um, we went up, hold on one second, where are we? Um, so we wanted to like, kind of like, this is like a jam. This this song is kind of like a jam. Um, so what do we do? Oh, so this so, so this first part, if you notice, it's down over here, it's between C4 and C5. And this one I bought up over here, it's between C5 and C6, and I moved it up a full octave. Same, it's the same riff. It's also, also not quantized because we don't want it to be, um, we, because we don't want it to be too perfect because this is like a live type song um, and while that went up an octave we bought back in the slide guitar over here playing the same type of riff so if you listen to them together let's just hear them together right so that actually kind of sounds pretty lame but with everything together in this chorus I don't have the slide guitar going on anymore because I'm signaling to the listener that it's kind of like we're dying down in the track without a fade out but you took out one instrument because you have to know where to leave an instrument so if you have everything still going on in the track and then all of a sudden the track will just end which does over here you know it's just that original intro again same, same the same type of thing so it's, it's going to be too big of a change in dynamics and you want the track to be a level in dynamics and to be equal so that all parts of the track make sense. So, and then, so that's just the whole song. Same type of thing. That's it. I hope you guys learned a little bit of something at all. Um, you do not have to subscribe actually because I don't really make that many videos because I'm not really that good at it. So just uh, hopefully you learn and um, share or whatever. Bye bye.